Apfel Doctor Germany Ben hi and uh, yeah today we do the second repair video video together we got an iPhone 8 with um, um, probably a VDD main shot I checked nothing I only saw it takes no current nothing and so normally I think often often they have these VDD main shorts uh, or VDD boost like ever I did so many of these uh, of these repairs so um, that's the cause why I personally think at the moment we could have a shortage okay so let's have a look okay was it already open or why I can't screw out the screw on the bottom no it wasn't opened before I think get out the screw okay now let's check if it was already yes it was already opened it was already opened yeah no screws here was already opened no screw here so let's check what they did I don't like these prior repair attempts because often people um, do more bad things than good things so we have problems after somebody has uh, tried to fix the phone and um, we need more time and so the customer has to pay more money for that so let's have a look what we got here take your iPower adapter and just check what we have yeah we got a 5M short so probably VDD main nice one like I thought at start at begin you see a lot of things I do are just experience okay I already solved so many damages the last years that I almost that I almost um, in all cases know what the, the error could be or where the error comes from okay without doing uh, much things so when I get in some iPhone X um, and somebody has done sports had it in the in his uh, in his bag or things like that I normally directly know where the where the error is where the damage is and on these iPhone 8 and iPhone 7, iPhone 8 plus, iPhone 7 plus and so on it's normally uh, so too. Yesterday we got an iPhone 7 plus RAM um, I thought we got a short on NAND or things like that because I saw 1.7 amps but it was RAM so um, I'm not always right from first so I have to look for the for the error often but in most of the cases I already know the failure before um, doing a big diagnosis. Okay, so we check terminal. We check terminal. And let's see where the problem is. Okay, so we need our iPower adapter. Hook it up on the board. I don't like these iPhone 8 battery stickers. Yeah, this is broken, I can't use it. So I need another cable. I have a look if Andy got it. No. So I have to take a new one. Don't want to destroy the battery FPC on the board. So I just take a new cable for iPhone 8. Here we got. We always have enough of them here. It's important to have enough of them. 
because often you need to replace or you can uh, buy the the FPCs alone we have them here too and then you can solder them down to the cable it's no problem too but now for the video it's faster to just take a new cable with new with new FPC okay so so let's check where the short is so there the queue is getting hot let's go up here okay I think it is on the bottom I just take off the the glue sticker. I will renew it later, so I don't need hot air to take off now, because we have these stickers new here. Just take some hot air, so it goes a little bit easier. A little bit more easier. Or a little bit more easy is right, I think. Not a little bit more easier. Oh, my English. My English is not the yellow from the egg. Just do visual inspection. Visual inspection. We can see something. So let's check thermal. Let's check by thermal. You got a queue he heating up. Okay. Don't think that the problem is here. Could be the other side too. Ah, okay. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. This should be the queue on the other side. This should be the queue on the other side. Because here we got the queue. Yeah, this is the queue on the other side. So we have to check the front. It's not, I think it's not a short on the back side. Just take off the sticker on the top. So it's no fast short, normally we are faster on these VDD shorts because we see more. No, not on the right top. Could be this one. Could be. Andy, come here. Come to me, my friend. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. You see the queue is heating up in a second when I when I push. Do you see? Do you think it is the one? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. What would you say? I would 
would say yes. You would say yes? Because normally the queue normally it's only the queue. It's only the queue. So I think in this case I will show the people that in the video too I think could be that. Okay. Let's check. So I show it to you with some eye spray just for for you to view to see what I mean. Do I show it to you another time with some eye spray. Okay, you should see. Do you see what I mean? This one is melting up. This one is melting up, but I personally, I'm not 100% sure if we got a problem on this. But it could be that the problem is here. Okay? So we have to check. We have to check. if we got the problem here. Just take it out with a little bit of hot air. Gently, gently. Okay. Just take it out and then we do measurement. Yeah, the shot has gone. Okay, it was. I first thought perhaps we don't have the problem at the bottom here, but then I saw on thermal and I thought should be, could be this one so we got it fast normally on these shots we are much faster but it's okay it's not only the speed the work has to be really clean so I can recommend to everybody just take your time find to find the fault and then solve it professionally and clean okay just take some hot air just take some hot air and clean gently beyond the fault at this point uh, no thanks just wait for my phone I want to upload something So now we have to check for the value. Now we have to check for the value on ZXW to get your iPhone 8 and see if we see anything on this. Take the Qualcomm version because there's no documentation for the Intel version. And then we have to go to the schematics and see if we got any information there just get 
some solder on it some 183 solder I just take D8 plus because my microfish has expired so just let's have a look how it looks on the iPhone 8 plus should be should be one of these yeah so we got 15 microfarad 6.3 volts it's a, a standard we often have so we got enough uh, of them here all the recu regular uh, caps we have in stock you need it every day so you can stock up on digikey.com and then just solder down the new cap carefully because we have underfill under this so do it fast and now our short should be gone yeah it is Now we can test and after that I will clean up the board, clean up everything here and do some new stickers on it and finish the phone, okay? Like I said, could be a little bit more fast, but it's okay. So we don't need that, we just need that for test. I will renew the sticker on the front too, because it's ugly. And not nice. Now we have to take our eye power. And then let's start. Should work fine again now. And customer will have all his data and phone will work fine again just one little cap on the back side and the whole phone is without any function it's crazy okay the phone is back to life again just one cap at the back side short on VDD main I'm out I hope you enjoyed the video we see us with the next uh, when you want to learn things like that you can do it here on the bottle of Ripesco Germany or um, or not <laughs> and when you um, are interested and you are uh, you have a business for um, repair repair industry um, or if you are a seller of goods uh, for repair uh, uh, industry then you can come to our Facebook group smartphone repair for Germany I'm out we see us with the next video you're spent